Robert, what's your what's your what are your thoughts on fees? Sure. <clears throat> so, you know, there's the 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 larger philosophical principle as to whether there should be a fee at all. And Chris, I think you just answered that question capably. Um, and then there's you know what the fee is supposed to be be doing. And certainly there are immediate costs with, you know, as you mentioned, personnel inspections, um, short-term disruptions. But then there's very real uh, follow-on costs for um, remediation, often the work done to restore the right of way um, needs to be redone a lot of times. It definitely shortens the useful life of if it's a road, no matter what the utility does to restore it, you they've just knocked five, 10 years off of the useful life of that road surface. So it's going, there's going to be a downstream um, remediation cost there, but that's, you know, five, 10 years out. Um, and then there's sort of the, the larger, you know, carrying cost of all the other crap that's hard to quantify, but is real. Um, and then on top of that are the squeeze, <laughs> you know, with the shakedown, which is real, you know, and, and I've seen it um, from the municipal side. And I fought against it with, especially with our project. Um, so that's a real phenomenon, but it's unfortunately, it's a real phenomenon that's on top of very legitimate costs that the local government should and needs to recover. And so then the question is, is what's the structure and what are the amounts of those fees? And that's a reasonable discussion to have. And local governments, you know, they do their best, but you know, they're, they often screw it up. And, and the shakedown and the squeeze is definitely a real thing.